time's a little tight today. Time is a little tight today. So, so I don't need much uh, more volume for the week, but I do want to get one more good climb in. So I'm at Mount Morrison and we're going to go up just like five, five miles, uh, five to six miles round trip. So nice, uh, quick run because yes, the schedule is a little tight today and I hope you had a great weekend. It's Monday. Oh, by the way, hold on one second. If you didn't see yesterday's second video, I did the final test, the cross test between the carbon rocket and the 4%. I think you'll enjoy it. Go check it out, upper right hand corner. All right, let's rock and roll. Come on. about 2,500 feet to the top. That's good, that's good. <laughs> Out of the black bag. There we go. There we go. I've been interested in those. You That's know, she got a pair wow. of gear it's quite the gator. Are, yeah, that are made the same. Um, I uh, I run quite a few mountains in the winter, and so uh, these do great, except for obviously you know just the snow in the t in the tongue. Snow, yeah. So these are the new speed cross fives. Oh sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I got a pair of fours in the truck. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's good to see what those look like. <laughs> yeah, I, I would recommend them for sure. Man. That's awesome. All right, have a good one. <laughs> Had to pause real quick, geek out about Solomon shoes with a gentleman there. He's got the snow cross uh, shoes from Solomon, and I almost bought those this year, but I think I, uh, I think I'm going to wait till next winter. Anyway, it's always fun to geek out about running shoes out on the trails. And yes, coming down this trail, Mount Morrison, it's like, uh, actually it's starting to snow right now. But uh, it's like, if anyone likes skiing on moguls, it kind of feels like moguls. You're kind of bouncing your knees around and jumping. And anyway, it, it has that feel, it has that feel. After all those rocks on that crazy trail, I almost rolled my ankle on this right here, this little lip uh, in the parking lot. Look at this thing. Watch your footing in the parking lot. That's all I gotta say. And it's about three hours later. We're going into Target now. We're going into Target, everybody. Getting stuff for the studio. Oh man, more snow, more snow. I'm not sure if you can hear the difference, but I've hung up about 
60 to 70 percent of the foam on the walls right behind the camera and then right up there and it sounds like my ear is of course i mean in here talking all the time so basically it does not sound like the audio is bouncing off the walls everywhere anyway this is exciting moving forward speaking of moving forward comment of the week i've let it slipped away it slipped away in the last month probably it's just been a lot to manage the growth talking to everybody in the comments, like trying to type back as much as possible. So I don't want to forget about the comment of the week. And so here we go. And just so you know, if you're new, I used to do a shout out to the best comment, what I thought would bring all of you the most value in the previous seven days of comments. Well, that is a lot of comments. And frankly, I just don't have the time to dig through all of them right now. So I went back though and found this one from Hector. Thank you, Hector, for this comment. And it connects really well to the future and to possible new ideas for the future. And it connects to Jason's PR from yesterday. All right, here we go. Pacing someone to a new PR should be your new segment for the channel. It was really fun and awesome. Felt like I was right there with you two rooting for the team. This channel feels like an extended running family. Couldn't Two agree miles. more. Right Keep up the positivity and run Come for your on, own PR. Through. Maybe one of the viewers will pace you to a PR. I would love that, Hector. Maybe it's you, Hector. Thank you for that comment. And basically, Hector, I think you're spot on. I think this whole PR business and like I am more than happy to at least locally for now here in Colorado, but who knows, maybe down the road we can talk about going to San Antonio or going to Seattle or going to Green Bay or go, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I would love to, sorry, I thought the light went out. I would love to pay someone to a PR once a month, let's say, twice a month, I don't know. So don't hesitate to email me and who knows, maybe we can make it happen. All right, moving on to the feet. Uh, boy, what a topic. My grandmother always says, you gotta take care of your feet because your feet are the foundation of your body, of your running and of your walking and your stride and everything. And frankly, if I was ever to be a doctor and I'm not a doctor, but if I was to ever dream of being a doctor, I would consider like the podiatrist route. And I think there's a few podiatrists out there that watch this channel. It's a fascinating area of the human body, right? Everything from the calcaneus to how the metatarsals go down the top of your foot and like go to your toes and then how the fascia, huh, how the fascia works in there. It's just incredible the pounding that we can put our feet through. And so anyway, I, okay, I'm not going to ask the question of the day quite yet, but I bring up the feet topic today because uh, I had a little bit of a breakdown yesterday with respect to organization in the house. I just was feeling I couldn't find a I basically I couldn't find a cable that was connecting my watch to my computer to upload my run to uh, Sun Tzu and then to Strava and anyway it was a mess. I couldn't find it. I was going crazy and then I was like oh my gosh. My running shoes are getting a little out of control. This is too much. Like we need to, we need to be organized. And so in order to alleviate some of the disorganization inside the house, I was like, true love, enough is enough. I've got some cash, got some extra cash in my wallet. I'm going to Target and I don't care. We're going to buy shoe organizing things that, you know, you hang it over the door. So that's what is in this bag. And yes, we're going to come back out in a second, but let's go inside. I just need to get organized. Oh my goodness, it's driving me crazy. feels good. That feels nice. Okay. I want to take care of my feet better in 2019, way better than I did in 2018, which means, you know, making sure I'm on top of the game with respect to what shoes I'm wearing, even just walking around the house, like no more of those boat shoes. I can tell you that right now. And therefore I've got a lot of running shoes and I love them because I use a lot of them and they, you know, different shoes for different tasks throughout the week. 
but I also know that if I buy a shoe and I end up not reaching for it on a regular basis, it's like, mm, I'm not gonna keep it around. There's just no reason to keep it around. Therefore, it's time to do a shoe giveaway. Okay, thank you for the inspiration. All right, I think, I, I think you know who you are. Here we go. I'm giving away a pair of shoes again. Hopefully this can help somebody's feet out there. Take care of your feet in 2019. The only catch is you gotta have my size foot, which I realize is on the smaller side, but seven and a half men's, eight and a half to nine for women, seven and a half men's, the Skechers Go Run Pure. I love this shoe. Very comfortable, very lightweight. It only has 20 miles in it. I just am not reaching for it anymore and I just don't need it. So why not give it to somebody else who could really put it through the paces? And I even have, look at that. I even have the box right there. So I can send you the box and the shoes and just got it. So this is how it's gonna work. My email is listed down below. The first person to email me. So if you're a morning person, you're in luck. The first person to email me uh, gets the shoes. It's gonna work that easily. You just gotta send me your mailing address. Sound good? Okay, I wanna help somebody take care of their feet. All right, that's the goal in 2019. One of the goals in 2019. Okay, moving on to the keyword. I was gonna go with podiatrist, but I wouldn't put you through that. I wouldn't put you through that. It's feet. Keyword is feet and the question of the day. And it's, it's a very specific question and you may have never even considered this, but how are you going the extra mile in, right now or maybe in the past to take care of your feet, okay? And I know that's very specific. You see me inside my house every now and then, I need to pick it up a little bit, but doing those little exercises to strengthen my feet. And listen, if you're a podiatrist out there, any sort of doctor like that has experience, like listen, I know it's getting into the medical side of things on online, you gotta be a little careful, but I'm very open to learning from all of you. All right, does that sound good? Oh, all right, here we go. Skechers go run pure, who's it gonna be? That's the question, oh man, all right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Mm. See you tomorrow. Oh man, I'm excited to see who gets these.